To see somebody blatantly do what they've done here, it, it makes me angry, very angry. That Fargo man is speaking out for those he says don't have a voice. He reached out to us saying the town home he lives in in South Fargo used to have an accessible parking spot for the disabled. It has since been changed to an employee parking spot. Valley News Team's Macy Enger spoke with the man who says whether or not it's legal, it's unethical. There's a small parking lot in front of the office of the Tucker Point Townhomes Complex, just off of 23rd Avenue South. One spot is reserved for staff, but it didn't used to be. I noticed that the management kept parking in the handicap spot. Mike Morris called the cops when he saw the accessible spot being misused. Since it wasn't state mandated, there wasn't much local authorities could do. It got them to stop parking in that parking spot, which was, which was good. Weeks later, Morris says, he noticed a change. What used to be a spot reserved for the handicap was now for staff only. He says it's illegal to have employee parking without providing a spot for the disabled. They're basically just thumbing their nose at the handicap community. According to the American Disabilities Association, a business must provide a space closest to the entrance for the disabled. When we reached out to the townhomes manager, she said they were not interested in commenting. Driving around the complex, we couldn't find any other accessible spots. And Moore says it's not just this company. Sometimes I'll get in my truck and I'll just drive around and I, and I see violation after violation after violation after violation and I don't see tickets for it. You know, and I, and I think it's time as a society when we're we're worried about offending people so much that maybe maybe we should take a little more notice in the people that can't always help themselves than the people that can. In Fargo, Macy Inger, Valley News Live. We reached out to the city of Fargo and they told us they'd look into the legality of this. Tonight, when we spoke with Mayor Tim Mahoney, he told us the complaint is for the state to decide since it's on private property, but he'd be willing to look into the matter himself at Morse's request.